Hi everyone, I'm Kevin with Parallax and I'm going to show you a couple new products that we have today. The first item is the Quick Start Board. This is available now in our store for $25. It's under part number 40000. It's using the P8X32A aka propeller chip and I'll get into more details about this in a second. The other item we have is the FM radio receiver module and this is part number 27984 and this is available now for $14.99 in our store. And I'll go ahead and get in more details in this in a second but let's first take a look at the quick start board. Okay now let's take a quick closer look at the quick start board. So down at the bottom you have resistive touch pads Above that are LEDs that indicate the pad was touched. Uh, here's the propeller chip in the middle. Up above you have um, a couple headers. Uh, this one's uh, ready for connections. Uh, up here we have 32 IOs, 28 are general purpose IOs. And you have a power rail and a ground rail on that side. It is powered by USB. So you can uh, connect uh, your USB, USB connection and uh, be powered up. There's a reset button here in the middle. And uh, basically that's it. Uh, there is a, a buffer isolation to isolate the IOs from the LEDs and your connections down here. So there's no interference with that. Um, there's also a few other little features that you can incorporate on this board. Um, there's uh, some connections here for resistors and for, you know, if you wanted to connect up uh, your Sigma Delta analog conversion uh, in this area. So you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in, show you some more. All right, so when I plug it in, I get a power indication here. And you might have seen a couple flickers, uh, a couple more LEDs uh, showing my transmit and receive coming off here and I'll go ahead and load the uh, a little test program that shows the touchpad in action. When I touch you know any of these pads um, you get uh, the LED there so it kind of indicates that uh, that pad was touched so if you get a little bit closer and I'll show you. So that's basically it so this is uh, just a real simple platform to plug in and have uh, full access to the propeller and its capabilities so you can go ahead and prototype or do whatever you want to do. Okay, here's the schematic for the quick start board and that's available at www.parallaxsemiconductor.com So the first page of the schematic here is just showing the propeller and its connection to the EEPROM and your headers that are on that board and it's real simple. Uh, second page here it just shows the uh, your LED connections and your isolation circuit from those LEDs and then your resistive touch uh, circuitry over there. And then the last page is basically just showing the FTDI circuitry uh, for and your voltage regulation uh, for your uh, connection to a USB or serial connection. Okay, now let's take a little close-up look at this FM radio receiver module. And this is kind of a fun little guy. Um, it has a standard 3.5 millimeter uh, TSR stereo headphone jack right on the top. And you can plug in your headphones or stereo or whatever you want uh, to this guy. It's a 10-pin dip uh, board, so you can socket it into a dip socket, breadboard, and on the bottom there you see the IC uh, circuitry and IC in the circuitry for the uh, FM radio portion of it. Now, this doesn't require an antenna so it's pretty much as is like this and your communication to this guy is going to be through I square C and your power requirements uh, you can power this between 2.7 to 5.5 volts which makes it really compatible for quite a few different microcontrollers so uh, you can use this with a propeller, uh, basic stamp, Arduino, uh, whatever you like almost. And uh, this thing will be a pretty fun, pretty fun little device. So let me 
demonstrate this for you right now. I uh, actually bring over a quick start board um, with a little uh, breadboard here. This is actually a quick start board with a proto board underneath here. Uh, the proto board's uh, a new board that uh, will be available for the quick start. So uh, right now I just have a couple communication lines going to uh, IO pin 0 and IO pin 1 to the propeller chip and then just the power uh, lines needed for to run this FM radio module. So plug this in here and then go ahead and uh, plug in the connection to the computer. So here you see my code and uh, we're using a couple objects in this code. Uh, well, three objects actually. So the first object is just a serial terminal object so I can uh, view the data on a serial terminal window and we actually, this particular code interfaces with that window. And then just the driver for the FM module and another driver for the EEPROM uh, information. And in this code it's, it's you know, pretty simple. Uh, you just have the uh, startup baud rate for your serial terminal, your I/O pin uh, designations right here, so you can change that if you want to change, you know, different I/Os. Uh, there's some other settings you can you can change uh, throughout this uh, demo program. You can go ahead and take a look uh, at this program anytime and make the changes you want. But uh, let's go ahead and load this up and take a look at this code. So I'll plug, I'll actually plug in the uh, module to my speakers and we'll run the code. And that loads up and then bring up my, it's a little fuzzy at first, change the channel. Well, if you can. And I'll turn the volume down a little bit, it got a little loud. <laughs> But, uh, so as you see here in the terminal window, it's just a basically easy interface so you can change the volume, uh, change the radio stations, and you have an RSSI uh, indication there to show your signal strength and a lot of, you know, just functionality, basic functionality. So we'll just run through a few stations here. And the signal strength isn't that great, but you can still probably hear that you know it comes across pretty well even at lower signal strengths. So that's basically it. Alright everyone, well that about wraps up our brief introduction to the quick start board and the FM radio receiver module. I hope you enjoyed this and happy radio listening.